Hello students, this is Sudeep Yadav from Spectrum Chemistry and students if you are first time visiting to my channel so please like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get a best explanation of NCRT book class 10th subject science and in science I will discuss with you chemistry. And students if you are watching this video so please go to my playlist and watch the previous 7 part of this chapter to create a better understanding for this chapter. And students now in this chat in this video we are going to discuss about the bleaching powder so let's start students there is a bleaching powder the first point is the bleaching powder and so what is the chemical name and the formula of the bleaching powder this is the first point you can say okay so calcium oxychloride or calcium chlorohypochlorite both are the its chemical name and its chemical formula will be CaOCl2. So this is a chemical formula of the bleaching powder. And what is the commercial name of this compound? The commercial name of this compound is a bleaching powder. And now next topic which we are going to discuss that is the preparation of the bleaching powder. But first of all we have to discuss about the introduction. What is the bleaching powder? Let's see students. Bleaching powder is also known as chloride of lime. This is very important. So the chloride of lime is known as a bleaching powder. It is a solid and yellowish white in color. So this is the appearance of the bleaching powder. Bleaching powder can be easily identified by the strong smell of the chlorine so this is a very specific point for the bleaching powder when calcium hydroxide reacts with chlorine it gives calcium oxychloride that is known as a bleaching powder and water is formed so here you can see this is the chemical equation by which we are representing the formation of bleaching powder a aqueous solution of bleaching powder is basic in nature. So this is an another important fact about the bleaching powder. The term bleaching means removal of color. Bleaching powder is often used as bleaching agent. It works because of oxidation. Means it will behave as an oxidizing agent. Chlorine is the bleaching powder is responsible for bleaching effect. So due to the presence of the chlorine, okay, due to the presence of the chlorine, this is a good oxidizing agent and we are using it for the as a bleaching agent. Okay. Now preparation. Preparation of bleaching powder. How we will prepare it? So let's see student. First of all, dry slagged lime is entered into the hazen clever plant we will see beta hazen clever plant where is hazen clever plant you can see here this is the hazen clever plant okay let's see first of all all dry slagged lime is entered into the hazen clever plant okay then this dry slagged lime is moved forward by the revolving blades of the rotating shaft. In the meantime, chlorine gas is passed through the lowermost cylinder which moves up to the upper cylinders and react with the dry slag lime coming downwards to form bleaching powder. This bleaching powder comes out through the outlet at the bottom of the innermost cylinder and collected in a vessel. So let's see student here. You can see there is a slagged line. Okay. And from this portion, from this portion you can see here where from where we are uh, inserting the chlorine gas. So this is the part. This is the open part of the hazen clever plant by which we are inserting the chlorine gas in this plant and both will interact to each other because the slag lime is coming from the 
अपवर्ड साइड ओके एंड द क्लोरिन इज गोज टू द साइड बाय ओके सो बोथ विल बी इंटैक्ट टू इच अदर एंड द कंपाउंड विल फॉर्म दैट विल बी द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर एंड वी कैन कलेक्ट हियर यू कैन सी इन दिस डाइग्राम कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हैज एन क्लेवर प्लांट द हैज एन क्लेवर प्लांट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ नंबर ऑफ होलो हॉरिजोंटल सिलेंडर ऑफ आयरन विच आर फिटेड विद साफ्ट हैविंग अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ द ब्लेड्स मिक्सड अलॉन्ग एंटायर लेंथ विच कैन बी रोटेटेड इन साइड द सिलेंडर द अपर मोस्ट सिलेंडर हैज अ होपर फॉर पुटिंग इन स्लेक्ट लाइन एंड एन आउटलेट फॉर द वेस्ट गैसेज टू गो आउट द लोअर मोस्ट सिलेंडर हैज एन इनलेट फॉर पासिंग इन क्लोरिन गैस एंड एन आउटलेट फॉर द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर टू कम आउट सो दिस इज द अरेंजमेंट दिस इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द हैज एन क्लेवर प्लांट सो यू कैन सी इन दिस डाइग्राम नाउ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इन योर एग्जामिनेशन देर द नंबर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन कैन बी पुट इन साइड योर क्वेश्चन पेपर फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट अंडर दिस पॉइंट ओके प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर वट इज द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इज अ येलो इज वाइट पाउडर विद करेक्टरिस्टिक स्ट्रॉन्ग स्मेल ऑफ द क्लोरिन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी इन प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स इट इज सोलबल इन वॉटर ओके रिएक्शन विद कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नाउ दिस रिएक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज मैंशन इट एज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन ओके सो वेन द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इज एक्सपोज इन एयर देन इट रिएक्ट्स विद कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस प्रजेंट इन एयर टू प्रोड्यूस कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट एंड क्लोरिन गैस सो वेन द कैल्शियम ऑक्सीक्लोराइड और द कैल्शियम हाइपोक्लोराइड दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर विल इंट्रैक्ट टू द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड okay so it will convert into calcium carbonate and chlorine gas will evolve now the important point which we have to be understand that is the available chlorine what is the available chlorine the amount of chlorine which is liberated during reaction of bleaching powder with carbon dioxide or sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid this all are the acidic in nature okay is called available chlorine the superiority of bleaching powder can be estimated by the amount of bleaching powder the greater the amount of available chlorine more superior will the bleaching powder is a good sample of bleaching powder contains 35 to 38% of available chlorine so this is the available chlorine now next point next property of the bleaching powder that is reaction with dilute hydrochloric acid so when bleaching powder will react reacted with dilute hydrochloric acid then all the chlorine gas present in it is liberated okay so here you can see the bleaching powder that is the calcium oxychloride is reacting with hydrochloric acid and the calcium chloride is product and the chlorine gas is liberating okay so this is the liberation of the chlorine gas and water is formed so what will be happen during the reaction of calcium oxychloride with hcl the whole chlorine gas will liberate okay now next reaction with dilute sulfuric acid when bleaching powder is reacted with dilute sulfuric acid then all the chlorine gas present in it is liberated so similar reaction is going on here also because this is the availability of the chlorine means whatever the chlorine is existing in the bleaching powder it will evolve okay so reaction with dilute sulfuric acid when the bleaching powder is reacted with dilute sulfuric acid then all chlorine gas present in it is liberated so here you can see the reaction the bleaching powder sulfuric acids when react with bleaching powder the product with calcium sulfate okay that is a salt and chlorine gases evolve and water will form
सो हियर इज अनदर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इज द यूजेज ऑफ द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर नाउ वट आर द यूजेज ऑफ द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर लेट्स सी स्टूडेंट्स ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इज यूज फॉर ब्लीचिंग कॉटन लिनिन वुड पल्प एंड वॉशिंग क्लोथ्स इट्स ब्लीचिंग एक्शन इज ड्यू टू द रिलीज ऑफ द क्लोरिन गैस सो मीन्स वेन इट इज रिएक्टिंग विद कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस ओके एसिड दैट इज द एसियल सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सो ऑल द टाइम द क्लोरिन गैस इज लिबरेटिंग ओके सो इट्स ब्लीचिंग एक्शन ड्यू टू द रिलीज ऑफ द क्लोरिन गैस ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नाउ इट इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग ऑन स्रिंकेबल वुल इट इज यूज फॉर डिस इनफेक्टिंग ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर मीन्स टू वी आर यूजिंग इट टू सॉफ्टनिंग ऑफ द वॉटर इट इज ऑल्सो यूज इन द मैनुफैक्चर ऑफ क्लोरोफॉर्म विच इज यूज एज एन anesthetic in hospitals by doctors before surgery it is used as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries so these all are the very very important points about the bleaching powder and let's see students how the bleaching powder acting as a oxidizing agent so here we have to manage we have to know about the some chemical reactions Uh, to represent the oxidizing on uh, uh, the oxidizing action of the bleaching powder so here you can see the calcium oxychloride when react with h2so4 here is another h2so4 okay so it will convert into calcium sulfate and calcium chloride and hc L O four, is it clear, students? This is known as a hypochlorous. This is known as a hypochlorous acid. Okay, and when H C L O, this hypochlorous acid will further dissociate. It will convert into H C L, and the nascent oxygen will form. So due to the uh, due to the formation of this nascent oxygen, okay, due to the formation of this nascent oxygen. It, this is behaving as a oxidizing agent okay so i hope students it will be clear to you okay so i hope students you must have enjoyed this video thank you